All right, everyone. It is me, Judson Chen. Uh, I kind of forgot to plug in the mic, but usually uh, the voice actually sounds the same between this camera microphone and the actual one. So I'm just not going to, uh, whatchamacallit, plug it in. So it uh, looks like we're having a pretty good day. Of course, uh, if you're in the stock markets, you're not having such a good day. Uh, which kind of sucks because I just recently reinvested some of my dividends into MRL and then like I guess I'm about to find uh, you know what let's just find out now how much is it now because because apparently today it's actually pretty bad oh this is this is fine <clears throat> in fact it went up what the hell what the hell is this article talking about oh okay so I guess yesterday the market's tanked and today it's recovering a little bit so it's really not that bad okay. All right. So anyway, Bitcoin searches for last week is at seven. So we have no data for this week. Oh, I forgot. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you to the one person. Oh, actually, wait, I have to refresh this. <clears throat> thank you to uh, the three people. Oh, wow. Actually, I think that's, uh, that's actually a lot of you from the Discord. So uh, good. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, you watching these videos would also mean you just have less questions in the Discord. Uh, actually, I did notice uh, much less questions in Discord today. So that... Uh, that helped because I actually couldn't sleep until like 3 a.m. last night. Uh, I just had a lot of energy for some reason. And I was also still thinking about the game I want to make. And and I just remember like, hey, I'm supposed to be making a 2D game and not a 3D game, even though I'm very excited to make a 3D game. Because obviously 2D games are a lot less uh, resource intensive on a computer. So obviously it's a lot easier for for anyone to play the game or whatever. And you know, there's plenty, there's plenty of really good 2D games out there. In fact, I play, I'm playing them right now, you know, on my mobile shit. So, you know, and I tell you, I want my games to appeal to everybody. Having a 2D game would make it very easy to port to the, to the mobile. That's why I'm using Unity, right? Cause I could just export to every single platform in the world. Uh, that's why Unity is so good. Uh, so anyway, we're up to cloud world number 324. Um, oh yeah, bring one over that. So, all right, so, so far so good. Uh, obviously, if you uh, do not read the fake news terrorists uh, in all the mainstream websites, however, you watch independent people like me or whoever is on YouTube, you get a very different perspective. That's why censorship is so out of control, right? Because the fake news terrorists, you know, your CNNs, your Fox Newses, you know, the, all the cable news, you know, New York Times. I mean, I'm mostly citing a lot of, you know, American stuff because obviously I'm in New York, but. All of you are, you know, have the same problem too, right? You're in Great Britain, you've got the BBC. Uh, if you got India, you probably, I don't even, I, don't, I mean, I don't even know any of uh, the news publications there. But they're all in on the uh, stupid lying scam and bullshit anyway, right? So, you know, they, they always warn you against cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, but they tell you only in the markets. You know, there, there's a reason why uh, for that. So luckily, a lot of people, uh, luckily though, the rich people are, uh, you know, well, not stupid, obviously, so... And they also do not uh, listen to the fake. Well, actually, they peddle the fake news because they want you to be the stupid person that buys their stupid stocks, and then they make money off of you, and then they go in and they buy the real stuff, which in this case right now is cryptocurrency. So, twenty-four hour volume is an in, uh, an insane one twenty point five billion uh, in the last twenty-four hours. Bitcoin down is at sixty-six point one percent. So we still, uh, you know, I mean, it's still a little high, but you know, at least it's not going up really. Um, Hopefully it'll eventually go down though, obviously. That's the ultimate goal. Bitcoin has blown past 9,000. It's now at 9,026. Very, very good. So this thing has no uh, no, no breaks. Uh, so pretty soon Bitcoin should be at 10 grand. Um, and as I said on the Discord, uh, I'm waiting for Bitcoin to hit 10,000. And then I'm going to list uh, 2 by 2 coin on the BTC pop exchange. Uh, a, because we need our exchange. And then B, we also need our, we need an actual staking pool. So, uh, actually, I think there already is another 2x2 two two staking pool uh, between CoinStake and HiPay pool, but I, I can't remember. Uh, it's like, you know, I, yeah, it's, you know, like I said, you know, it's partnership with them, so we have, like, a ton of stuff already that I have to worry about, so, uh, yeah. But, I mean, you just go on their 2x2 two two Discord, I'm sure it's already listed there. Uh, Litecoin is at 59 bucks, so it's also going up uh pretty much like everyone else however hmm, it's actually not as much as everyone else so that kind of sucks but you know at least it's going up and the pattern is kind of similar to everyone else especially to bitcoin so that, that's good 
Uh, Bitcoin Cash and SV has gone down a little bit too. So it looks like it's already uh, gone as high as it wants to. Uh, Cardano. Uh, oh, well, that's the other thing too. I was also thinking a lot about bugs, uh, cheaters in the game, because that's actually going to be a really big problem. Actually, it's always a problem, but because there's an incent financial incentive to cheat now, because you know I'm trying to get people to like, make money. In one way or another, I'm not sure how to do it, with, uh, and then still have to take into account regulations and shit by the stupid government. Um, uh, what you call it? I was thinking about how do I get the payment processor going. Hmm. I had to throw away my Burger King cup because apparently that plastic shit was also uh, contributing to like toxicity and uh, get uh, giving me inflammation. So uh, I, I immediately threw it out. Uh, but I did order a, a BPA-free and, like, toxic-free, like, you know, glass or really good plastic bottle. That's a gallon. So uh, it, it's going to be perfect. It arrives. Today is Tuesday. Uh, it arrives tomorrow, so it's going to be pretty nice. So as I say, uh, I know I was talking about the game. Oh, yeah. So the payment processor is a really big problem because it's so hard to code. So basically, I think I still have to come with 10,000 euros and then just go pay coinpayments.net. Uh, Good news is they look like they finally allow uh, Americans to finally use their service. They just restrict New York and Washington, which isn't a problem because uh, all I have to do is just put the server that you're playing the games on outside of those two states, which is very uh, easy, right? So uh, on the West Coast, Seattle, which is within Washington State, which is one of the restricted places. Uh, actually, let's show you now. Coinpayments.net restricted jurisdictions. All right, so here, obviously, you've got the, you know, usually terrorist, uh, you know, nations, and then, I don't know, for some reason, you got some Indian places. It was mostly uh, North Korea and, like, a bunch of, and then some uh, African countries and, of course, the Middle East. Uh, states within America, this used to be the whole American United States and a lot of other states, but now it's just reduced to New York and Washington because, obviously, these two states are fucking retarded, which is why I'm going to move out of here. So I gotta pay them ten. Uh, what is it? Uh, no, that's the fee. Single assigned coin payment email. To, where is the? Oh, actually, you know what? It's down here. Add your coin. Uh, it's gonna cost me twenty five bucks for an application fee, but it's really just about the ten thousand euro uh, uh, fee. And this is per coin, so I'm gonna have to pick one. Uh, it's either gonna be four hundred four coin or two by two coin, right? You know, because just just either way. And then we'll, you know, go down the list with GMC coin being the last coin. And then that's, and then this is how I'll integrate the cryptocurrency payments for the game when it comes out. So obviously, you know, it's going to be taking in crypto. It's going to be making money. And of course, me being the smart financial guy that I am. And of course, me being a very anti-socialist and communist. You know, you're, you're, you know, I'm going to make it so that there's going to be a real, well, real money trading, real money market thing. Right, so you play the game and you'll actually make money off it. The problem is I also have to figure out how I'm going to have that done. And of course, when you have that, the incentive to cheat, it's literally going to be like, you know, maximum. You're going to have hackers everywhere because everyone's going to be cheating to get like the best shit. Right, that's why Tarkov, up until they had Battle Eye implemented, like had crazy amount of cheaters. Because people would cheat, get all the uh, in-game loot, right, by, you know, doing whatever. And then they would sell it on like you know um, the hacker forums, right? Like MPGH and uh, AIM junkies or whatever. And then they actually make money off of it. So they pay people money for cheats, and then you know and on and on and on the cycle goes. So they can hack better, get the loot for free, essentially, and then you know make back their money plus a profit. And I actually was watching a whole like forty-eight minute video by the Easy Anti Cheat guys, and. Um, uh, what should I call it? They actually said it's like this was like from four years ago. The video that they made for the Steam Developer uh, Conference, you know, Steam powered, right? Uh, they actually said it's a hundred million dollars. So today it's probably even more by a lot, right? You know, so it's uh, it's pretty nutty. It's pretty nutty. Um, but uh, because I have a pretty simple two D game, I think it sh I think it should be okay. And like the cost for me to. Because I, because they don't tell you, because Battle Eye and Easy and Tichi don't tell you what the prices are, so I have to consult them, which implies that it's going to be very fucking expensive. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of games also use them too, so I think it's on a per server basis. Then I just simply um, have it installed on the server for the game server, and then whoever plays, you know, you the client, 
you know, browser or whatever, you guys will have to probably install something. Uh, uh, and then, you know, so, so, uh, so BattleEye or Easy Anti-Cheat can scan your shit for like, you know, are you running Python scripts, uh, and all that stuff, right? For cheats or botting or whatever. So, uh, yeah. So that, that's a lot of stuff I have to think about. Funny enough, it just gave me a large amount of energy for some reason. So, you know, I mean, I guess maybe cause I'm excited, but I don't, know, I don't really feel excited, but I definitely don't feel depressed. It's like, oh, there's a lot of cool stuff I gotta think about. There's also a lot of problems. Hmm. But yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, so I think it's have to go back and then redo my uh, game concept. Uh, what the hell was it? The flow chart, right? So you know, because like I was, because I kept thinking it was gonna be 3D, and then now that and then I finally have to slow myself down, I realize you're supposed to be making a 2D game first. Remember, I'm also one guy, so there's only so much shit that I can code. So you know, 2D games would be a lot easier too to code. Anyway, uh, can is up pretty much like three cents, so not much here. Um, all right, so the markets are up, cryptocurrency is up overall, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, the coronavirus definitely has people scared, but obviously everyone's aware of it and everyone's testing each other for it, so that's the most important thing. Uh, and on top of that, it still only has mostly killed Chinese people only because it's a uh, it's a bio weapon, right? That was derived from SARS. So, uh, and then maybe it also got out of like hand in like the Wuhan bat eating market or whatever the hell they sell. So, uh, yeah, so that'll have to uh, sort itself out. But, uh, yeah, I would try to, to go too crazy on it because that's what the fake news terrorists want you to do make you fearful and afraid. Like, there was even a, this asshole CBS article that says more people should be afraid of the coronavirus. You know, here's why. And it's like, you know, these stupid fucking assholes. Right, but um, yeah, that's just how it goes. Anyway, uh, it's JMC coins at two to three. You know, not too much happening here. Of course, a lot of buying and selling activity, but more buying than selling. So JMC coins gonna just gonna have to hang in there for a while. Luckily, we already reduced the APR on it to sixty-two and a half percent. So by the time it like you know really goes down south, you know, you know, in fact, I could probably just go in the market, spend like two hundred bucks, and just buy all the JMC coin supply or something if it ever gets that bad. Uh, 404 coin uh, also continues to recover after the devastating um, dumping attacks or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, now it's at 18 and 19. It's been pretty quiet. Uh, now remember, because Bitcoin and all the majors are basically going up a lot in value, uh, it's going to put a lot of downward pressure on 404 coin. So it's going to take some time before it hits, uh, goes back to the 20s, uh, if it ever does. But uh, yeah, but I think it probably will, because usually I've noticed that there's a lot there's a lot of buying activity when I'm asleep and I obviously just woke up New York City time uh, and then 12 between 12 to 14 hours from now basically when I go to bed later tonight you know there's usually like one to two big uh, buy orders so we'll just have to wait out the thing for 404 coin two by two coin I also got a little stronger since yesterday and it's now at 64 65 it's actually kind of healthy um, so I guess some people might be a little nervous with 404, so now they're jumping in a two by two coin, which is why eventually, you know, um, you know, the sooner I get the game out and polish it, and then, you know, start implementing something, because <clears throat> I was actually playing this game last night, survive.io. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's do that. Um, wow, 21 live viewers. Wow, people actually stream this game because I saw someone streaming this game yesterday. Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh wow, he's got twenty-one people watching. That's hilarious. See, this is this is why if I make a really good game, I can get free marketing because now this guy not only is he trying to get rich off of you know, and that's a good thing. Oh my god! Holy shit! They're almost. 7,000 players playing this fucking game. Yesterday it was like 3,000. I didn't realize that the time zone difference was actually a thing. Wow. All right. So basically, I have ad block on, but basically the guy has an ad over here and an ad down here. And that's how his, the site makes a lot of money. Right? And this game is like really simple. So basically, I got to do the same shit. Uh, featured YouTuber. I don't know who this is. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to pause it. I want to pause it. Um, the greatest survive IO squad games, 7-5, blah, 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 blah. All right, very good. 
Um, he's got 679 subscribers, 4,800 views. That's pretty good for a game like this. So yeah, Battle Royales are really popular. Now I want to put my own little twist on it. Because like, A, the skill curve is still a problem, and then B, like you still have hackers, so what, what, what do you do? But yeah, that site makes a lot of money. It has like a 6,600 Alexa ranking. So yeah, I mean, you know, you think I could, you know, monetize that and then also get people to use cryptocurrency? You know, it's going to be very nice. It's going to be very nice. So, you know, so, so the opportunities are there. I just have to like figure out the technical uh, technicals and then make the game fun so everybody can, you know, jump in and shit. Uh, I already did that. I did two by two coin. All right, so now we're up to yeah. Oh yeah. So before I move on, um, what call? I think I want to actually change battle royale. So like maybe you spawn in with like a really shitty weapon. Because one of the frustrating things I hate about battle royales is I spawn in with nothing. I can't find anything, and I die to some fucking asshole that has like a level two like everything, and then like an automatic or a big shotgun. And you just die instantly. It's just like not fun. Uh, I'm also thinking about maybe increasing, and not only that, and then in addition to that, maybe I also increase how long it takes to kill someone. Like, it actually takes a while. Uh, but the problem is, haven't you died in a helicopter? <laughs> oh my god. Someone someone gave himself Kobe Bryant, and someone just immediately responded, did you just die in a helicopter crash? <laughs> oh man, uh, the memes are... Uh... They're, they're gonna get pretty uh they're gonna get pretty uh, angry uh rageful rage inducing that's it um but uh yeah so i'm thinking about that it wouldn't make my battle royale different but it also could be like well this is what a battle royale should be well yeah but i mean so is but everyone else is also kind of doing the same thing too so also i wanted something where the skill curve and like a little more casual friendly right because I'm, I'm a fucking boomer asshole now right so that's why Blizzard Entertainment got so popular with World of Warcraft, right? Because they ignored all, like, the hardcore people, right? And they just made a casual game. And that's why they made, like, you know, $11 trillion for, like, you know, 20 years. And not only recreated uh, a new market, but also wiped out the hardcore market. So, uh, yeah. Plus, I also want to create, like, loot boxes and loot that you can actually take for, you know, take into your actual, you know, rest of your character or whatever. So it's kind of like an RPG MMO RPG battle royale kind of thing. So uh, that, that's what I want to look into. Uh, anyway, compound coin is at forty-four hundred to fifty-four hundred. Uh, Satoshi's with dog coin, so it's holding pretty steady here. So it's uh, you know not, not, nothing too crazy at the moment. Uh, let's see where are we at. Anyways, how is it eighteen minutes? I barely like did anything. Ah oh, man. Oh well. All right, anyway, there's a couple articles here with some uh, headlines. But there's actually three that I want, really want to read, too. So I guess this video will be a long one again. Uh, Bitcoin uh, pumps past 8750 as the Dow plunges 400 points and concerns with the coronavirus. So this is probably yesterday or two days ago. Uh, I don't know, what does this guy say? Every single time you see anything that's happening, or I uh, said Bitcoin goes, oh, that's Mary Tanya, that, uh, that's what Bitcoin does. I mean, Sometimes it does that, like in this case, but other times it goes down just like with everything else. But nonetheless, you know, uh, it is good that more people are jumping into crypto, uh, you know, as a hedge, you know, because it's not so much that, it's just more like people are now accepting the idea that cryptocurrency and Bitcoin at the least is a legitimate uh, security or asset that you can actually put, put your money into. That's really what we're after, you know, mainstream worldwide adoption. Executives at Coinbase and Ripple unveil new push to advance crypto adoption in America. Well, that's good. Uh, now, normally I don't like Coinbase, even though I have an account with them because they censor people. Uh, but, you know, they're still a very big player in the world, especially when it comes to cryptocurrency and here in America. So, obviously, this is very good for us, despite the censorship. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... So a Coinbase senior person, a Ripple head person, are going to try to help the regulators advance blockchain crypto regulations. Okay, that's good. Uh, very good. Uh, and this is specific, and they specifically are targeting the uh, derivatives market for uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, which is exactly what you and I want, right? Because I keep saying we need we need options, we need put options so we can short the market. That's exactly what this is. <clears throat> so. The faster, basically the faster that the entire world or God's will 
you know, gets this thing done, you know, the sooner we can short the markets and in like a couple of years, you know, preferably three, four years, right? Because we want to have time to enjoy the bull run. <clears throat> yeah, God, now I'm losing my voice here. Shit. Mm. Yeah, because um, again, if Bitcoin hits a million dollars at the where are we at? at at the next peak, you know, when we short it, you know, I know for I know for a very reasonable fact it'll we'll go from a million dollars to like thirty three thousand dollars. So we're looking at like, well, I mean, that is pretty severe, but yeah, it's like what probably a ninety something percent drop. I'll have to redo the math, but I know it's going to be it's going to be pretty extreme. Um, because in the last bull run, Bitcoin hit like 19,500 to 20,000, and then it crashed all the way down to 3,000. So what is the percentage? Uh, except all cookies. Uh, how do we calculate this? No, actually, it went down as low as 2,800. We're not going to wait that low. Uh, wait that. Uh, 2,800 divided by 20,000? Great. I accidentally hit... Jeez. Oh, 2800 divided by 20,000. I accidentally hit this plus minus button. And now we are, oh, that actually was correct. Uh, it dropped 86% from the high. All right. So it's going to be, so it's actually going to be a little higher than 33 grand. But it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. And it's going to be insane. So 2800 was about a little more than. 125% of the previous high when Bitcoin peaked in 2011 or so, 2012 at uh, $1,200. It was actually a little under $1,200. Then the bottom, the next, then the highest, uh, then in 2018 when Bitcoin crashed, its low was $2,800. So that's, that's the scale I'm trying to use. Um, and it's relative to the previous high of the previous bull run, if that makes any sense. Well, basically, uh, it should be 125% of whatever uh, $20,000 of, you know, Bitcoin. Is. So actually somewhere around the $40,000 uh, mark. So uh, yeah, but it's a lot of money. So basically you'll turn like 50 grand worth of like put options. And then let's say, you know, you did it when Bitcoin's at a million dollars. Then, then uh, the bull market finally pops, right? And the bear market kicks in. And then like Bitcoin crashes to like 500 grand in like a, a month and a half. Well, you just cleared 500 grand worth of like uh, uh, per, per, per share, essentially. So you're basically making $500,000 times like a thousand or, uh, you know, 6,000, right? You know, I'll actually tell you how much money I'm putting into the puts at that point. Because at that point, I probably would have made like millions. So I don't give a shit. So yeah, I'll put in, I'll put in 50K on Ledger X. I really would prefer not to though. So I'm, I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping these Ripple and Coinbase guys get those regulations in because without that we don't we don't make money uh, all the time. So you know you want to buy a house? Well, how about buying ten houses? Right? In my case, I'm going to be actually smart and buy commercial more commercial real estate because it really because one because it really sucks during the bear, crypto bear market and then you make money off of mining right like I do. Yeah, you know, it's like the monthly cash flow kind of sucks. You know, it's like, uh, you know, we're not making as much money. It's like, hmm. But if I buy commercial real estate, right? Well, yeah, you know, it's like, oh, it's not a problem. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just not even going to read the rest of this. Uh, oh, Blockchain Association. Okay, they're doing... Um, okay, state by state. Kind of thing. Okay, so the good news is everyone's just realizing, okay, we need to create like a uniform regulatory framework uh for america so that so the good news is it's 100 percent happening it's going to happen it's just a matter of how long is it going to take them so obviously this quicker the better hype over bitcoin how the accelerator reports crypto analysis for arcane research by the way what is this uh okay uh Okay. Oh my god, we do have a lot to read today. The crypto community is divine whether or not Bitcoin was already priced in, uh blah blah blah. Says Google's searches on Bitcoin Helm has spiked in the last 12 months. Uh blah, 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 blah. okay. The last time the ter term spiked in popularity back in 2016 when the King Crypto held for the second time, and that year Bitcoin's price grew nearly 125%. Okay, very good. And that's the end of it. Okay, so basically everything is doing exactly what it did in the previous bull run. So we're actually Tamaguchi here. We're actually gonna be uh, we're so we're at minimum on track. So it's very good. 
uh, and yes, this is it's already being priced in. That's why it's going up now. So that when it does actually happen, like in the previous Bitcoin halvings, Bitcoin has always basically gone down a little bit or remained the same and before it started going back up. So I, I don't see why it's going to be any different this time around. Uh, but of course, hey, you know, if it halves, uh, it, like let's say Bitcoin halves in, uh, let's see, Bitcoin halving. Uh, let's say, you know, May 12th, right? So that's like, well, actually now it's almost February. So like three months from now, three and a half months from now or whatever, uh, Bitcoin halves and Bitcoin's at like, I don't know, $15,000. Well, it could very well just hit like 30 grand, right? The moment it happens or the week following. That would be kind of nice, but I, I wouldn't expect it. But either way, uh, you know, you just don't really know when it's going to go up. You just know that's going to go up and it's going to go up a lot. So, um, yeah, actually, yeah, I want to recall, like, someone I was talking to on Discord yesterday or two days ago, he actually said, I was watching some of people, uh, and then, like, they said Bitcoin Max is only going up to 20000 I'm like, what? Like, that, that's just retarded, right? That's, that's just retarded. And then I had to reread it. I was like, oh, you mean in the bull run? That's just dumb. It's like, don't listen to those idiots. Um, yeah, it, it's just, like, I don't even know how to respond any further to that. It's just, like, it's just so blatantly dumb uh people who say that right so that's why you shouldn't listen to people like that right they're trying to scam you right so if they say bitcoin's only going to like if it's a short-term thing well you should still ignore it because you can't predict price movements in the short term like i can do a pretty good job of it but i don't do trades based on that right i do long-term trades based on that but not short-term trades so because i already learned from my forex foreign currency trading days you know that's like a stupid thing to do right so just Buy and hold now in mine, and then just wait, right? You, you just wait, right? This this game is about waiting. You're on your ass. Uh, in fact, I had someone that say I started 300 bucks, and then I, after a year of following my advice, right? Now he makes like $75 a week. So, I mean, you know, he would have made a lot more if we were in a bull run, but he was doing it during a bear market. So imagine how much money he's going to make when this shit kicks off finally. And if I come out with the game and out and without, if I come out with the game in time and implement cryptocurrency, because I'll probably start off with just plain cryptocurrency like Monero or Litecoin or Bitcoin or whatever, right? I'll implement coin payments without you know these coins, because that'll also tell me how much uh, people are willing to actually spend real life cryptocurrency to get the stuff inside the game. If I see people are transmitting like ten five ten thousand five thousand fifteen thousand dollars worth of cryptocurrency transactions a month then i know that my the, my game is probably ready to implement you know then i can pay the ten thousand uh euro fee to coin payments to implement you know two by two or four four oh four coin so you know it's a it's a very smart intelligent free market way for for the free market to literally tell me you know are we ready to implement you know four or four coin payments so that's another thing i have to think about but yeah, just ignore all the idiots that say, you know, like, oh, it's only going to 20K, it's going down. They're, they're all fucking retarded, all right? Just, just just listen to me, all right? Hype over Bitcoin halving is accelerating, reports cryptocurrency analysis firm Arcane Research. Uh, wait, didn't I just read this? Oh, yeah, so that, that's the whole thing. So right now it's being priced in. It could go skyrocketing in May when it actually halves. But again, every single time in the past, it has never done that. It's always gone down a little bit, gone down a lot real quick or it remains the same and then regardless of what happens a couple of months later up to six to nine months later bitcoin goes skyrocketing up to like thousands of percents return right so yep that's the cycle of things bitcoin's a super commodity that should be worth one to ten million says cracking executive dan held well he's right about that uh but how long will it take uh this is Okay, hell breaks down energy consumption. So yeah, we, this is technically stuff our people already know. So if you want to read it, I'll just let you pause this video and get the URL or whatever, and, or read the screen. Uh, this is all. This is old knowledge. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just skip it. Uh, but yeah, I mean he's technically correct. But you know, we I, we kind of already know this stuff. BIS flips on digital currencies as 2020 report highlights rapid rise of central banks testing new tech. Well, yeah, France is already doing crypto, uh, France coin, uh, Portugal is doing France coin, China is doing France coin, 
Iran's now doing Iran coin after the Mullahs initially hated Bitcoin and was actually sending their cops and uh, what is it called? The IRGC, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps or whatever they're called. They're actually going, they were actually sent to, into like mosques to like arrest people or take away the Bitcoin mining machines because <laughs> they're a fucked up electric, electrical grid of Iran's already shitty electrical uh, system. And then they probably realized, hey, wait a minute, we can make a lot of money doing this. We should let our people do this, <laughs> right? And then, of course, they have no choice because, obviously, Trump trade sanctions. I mean, it's Iran, so there's always a trade sanctions. Trump's just the latest uh, U.S. president to maintain that policy. Uh, who else is also doing it? There's probably like a bunch of other coins. I mean, I already covered it in my previous videos, but I can't remember because there's so many of them out there. But the point is, oh yeah, Russia's doing Russia coin. Japan's going to do, uh, doing Japan coin. Canada's already been doing Canada coin for a while. We haven't heard anything from them. That's because they're still looking into, I guess, the technical aspects and regulations and all that shit. But yeah, everyone's getting in on it. And even American government agencies, they're actually going against Trump and Steve Mnuchin, who hate Bitcoin for now, and are actually cr looking into creating their own uh, cryptos too. Uh, Hawaii bipartisan crypto bill, Japan rushes to create Japan coin, Iran mining. In fact, where are all my videos? Um, Grayscale gets SEC approval, Goldman Sachs. Uh, now seeking big stakes. Okay, so the rest of my videos are back on my old bit shoot channel. So, all right, all right. Well, that's that. But yeah, everyone's getting in on it. So uh, very good. And now whoever this bank for international whatever has changed position on central bank coins. Uh, blah blah blah. blah. His design last March. Show manager BIS dismissed the rise of digital currency. It's sure that central bankers were not compelled to revamp their monetary policies. Saying uh, the DDG. Uh, that position has dramatically changed. The BIS issued a recent survey on social facts of Friday titled Pending Arrivals. Equal to uh, our studies show that banks are undertaking extensive work to create their own little America coins. Globally, emerging market coins are moving from conceptual research to intensive practical development. Yeah, because the American economy fiat system is really cumbersome and annoying, not to mention America likes to actually bully non American countries. Like that's a that's actually one of the big reasons why people don't like you know the American government outside of the world because like they actually run a, like uh, for example the IRS and SEC actually like will threaten like England or France or whatever says, hey we think we got, you got your you got some tax cheats you better like hand these uh, hand these assholes over right so we can take their money right and, you know France and Switzerland and England or whoever that America does it to they have no choice but to comply and they hate that. So, of course, third world countries don't want to deal with that shit, too. So then there's a solution to that. And that's, and that's good because the weaker that the weaker that America's ability to bully other nations financially, the better it is for all of us, including me. Right. Because that means they can't bully us uh, here in America, too. It's like, you know, what is the IRS going to do? Right. There are several scenarios that could play out. Central banker weighing all the outcomes, including how central banks could either comp complement or entirely replace traditional money. Well, Venezuela already has replaced uh, money, right? The trade sanctions of Venezuela do absolutely nothing now because now they're using Venezuela coin. So, uh, I mean, they have trade sanctions. Like, a lot of exchanges don't allow you to use Venezuela coin, right? So that's uh, so those sanctions still kind of work. But America, uh, Venezuela now actually has a stable, I should say stable, but more stable economy at the moment. Uh, 25 advanced economies and 45 emerging markets cover 75 and 90 percent of the economic oh, shows that 10 percent of the central banks are likely to issue a central bank coin in the central in the short term so that's within this year probably a two-fold increase over last year 20 percent expect to issue their own central bank coin in the medium term and central banks collectively represent blah 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 blah, blah. as for all the development nearly 40 percent of central banks are moving to the next stage pushing beyond research to real experiments with 10% developing pilot projects. Yeah, even in, uh, I think it was Wyoming in America, that state already is like leading the charge on like uh, integrating state banking laws with the actual local banks. And then, you, you know, there's a formal thing about how to get cryptocurrency. So it's happening. Like when I made my initial, uh, just go over here, let's go over my profile. Uh, I really like this, uh, really like this Admiral Thrawn picture. Um, oh yeah, it's, oh, I pinned it over here. 
When I made my original April 4th, 2019, 500,000 Bitcoin prediction at the next bull market peak, I mean, I kind of already knew fundamentals were already, gonna get were already getting stronger, but I didn't, but it wasn't as good as it is right now. But I knew, but, you know, it would be based on what was happening. So, uh, which we're calling JD, we're okay, blah, blah, blah. And you can read the whole report here. We don't need to do that. We're already running 35 minutes. So, so basically, uh, back then the fundamentals were pretty strong, but now the fundamentals are even more strong. So that's why I actually think Bitcoin's actually going to hit a million dollars. So that's going to be my new. That's actually been my new target. But again, it depends. How much of a frenzy is there going to be? How many uh, central governments are going to issue their own crypto? And then, of course. You know, when are the globalists going to finally snap their fingers and start, you know, banning actual cryptocurrency use, right? So, you know, you'll be, you'll, you'll be, you'll be forced to use America Coin, right? And then you're not allowed to use, you know, GMC or four four or whatever. But the thing is, it'll just be almost impossible to uh, stop. They can't even stop Monero. People still use Monero. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I think it should be fine in terms of censorship, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So far, the globalists. Uh, you know, with the exception of like big banksters, the globalists seem to be taking a pretty surprisingly uh, nice person's attitude towards it, right? Because especially because all the rich people, the trade, the hedge funds is that are funding this current you know bull move up. You know, they're all rich people, so they're all they all love cryptocurrency. So, eh. I I think with enough with enough time and fundamental adoption. Cryptocurrency will become like what the internet is today and what uh, cell phones are today. And then at that point, you cannot take it away at that point, right? You know, and the, what are the globalists going to do? See, now that I'm on YouTube, I have to say nice, I have to say nice words like globalists. I can't name the real names. All right. Anyway, if you like what you saw or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or my bit, oh, I almost said bit shoots, uh, my YouTubes, unfortunately. At the lemon factor dot or that youtube.com forward slash the lemon factor BTC. Yes, I know I cannot change the stupid URL. Uh, so anyway, obviously, uh, not for the day, it's just my daily video. So I'll post this on my Twitter, post it on my Discord. Uh, well, I guess you know these videos will be longer, so because we do cover a lot, and then eventually I'll have to split it up between my Bitcoin video and then maybe my daily developer diary video thing from like when i make the game or some shit like that so uh yeah and then uh you know we'll go from there but the good news is the opportunities that i see before me are finally here you know god has led me to this point led right uh and uh yeah it's now starting to come all together all my life experiences and of course it could have been a lot better if i knew then what i knew now but you know i mean that's just how it goes this is such a weird all right, but all right, we'll just use this as a thumbnail. So anyway, see you all in tomorrow's videos. Enjoy your day or night, and uh, I don't know. Let's just kind of hope that you know four four coin. Yeah, actually, the the sell orders are starting to get weaker, so that's good, right? That's what we want. We want low supply and high buying demand. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But either way, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, and Bitcoin to ten thousand soon, hopefully. Um, let me see. Oh yeah. So all right. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chen, JMC coin, 404 coin, and this is a good one.